The GST hike on mobile phones from 12% to 18% has increased the cost of mobile phones for consumers and affected their demand and affordability. This move was announced by the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman on March 14, 2020, and came into effect from April 1st. The GST Council justified this decision by saying that it would correct the inverted duty structure and benefit domestic manufacturers. However, many industry players and experts have criticized this move as detrimental to the growth of the smartphone market in India. According to the industry body India Cellular and Electronics Association ICA, the GST hike has resulted in an additional cumulative revenue of 42,897 Indian rupees crore for the government over the last three financial years. However, this has also increased the prices of mobile phones by an average of 15%, making them less affordable for the consumers. The ICA estimates that 31 to 32 crore Indians who buy phones in the country will be impacted by this move. The GST hike has also affected the demand for mobile phones, especially in the low and mid-range segments. According to a report by CounterPoint Research, the smartphone shipments in India declined by 4% year-on-year in 2020 due to the pandemic and the GST hike. The report also states that the GST hike has reduced the price gap between local and imported brands, making it harder for domestic players to compete with global giants like Samsung and Apple. The GST hike has also hampered the government's own initiative of promoting local manufacturing of mobile phones under the production-linked incentive PLI, scheme. The PLI scheme offers incentives to manufacturers who produce mobile phones and components in India, with an aim to make India a global hub for mobile phone production. However, the GST hike has increased the cost of production and reduced the profitability of the manufacturers, making them less inclined to invest in India. Therefore, we can see that the GST hike on mobile phones has increased the cost of mobile phones for consumers and affected their demand and affordability. It has also created challenges for domestic manufacturers and undermined the government's own PLI scheme. The GST hike may have generated some revenue for the government, but at what cost? Is it worth hurting the consumers and the industry that contributes significantly to India's economy and employment? These are some questions that need to be answered before imposing such a drastic tax change on a vital sector like mobile phones.